Vanessa, Lydia, Sandra, Georgina, Emanuela and Regina have defied all us to become true community service champions. What truly sets these students apart is their strong sense of community service instilled by the I Made It program. Since 2021, they have been actively involved in a plastic waste recycling project within their school. Collecting plastic waste on the school premises and packaging it weekly for sale to recycle companies, these young champions have not only contributed to environmental conservation but also learned valuable lessons in responsibility and teamwork. Sandra 17 reflects on how the program helped them undertake community service. She emphasizes that the program not only honed their community skills but also helped them discover and develop of their unique talents. Through this program, we got to know the community skills. Yes, and we developed a lot of talent from it. It has helped me so much. We also gained some lessons through our facilitators. They taught us how to be responsible, how to be refined as girls, how to be resilient, and also how to be do anything that we want to do. They have nurtured us, they have encouraged us. So as we are living here, we are also going out there to help the others. For Sandra, the program transformed her from a child in individual to someone who can confidently interact with others, understand their challenges and provide assistance. Through Smile for Child Ghana, I've been able to know how to speak to people. I remember when I came here as a first year student, I wasn't mingling with people. I was there a Z type always in my class. Even speaking to my mistresses, it was difficult for me. But through the training that I gained for, from Smile for Child Ghana, I've been able to come out, speak to people, and also learn how to help others. Since I was a reserve type, I wasn't giving much attention to people. But now I'm the outing type. I speak to people, I help them, I ask of their well-being. Smile for Child Ghana, I made it program, has really made us feel at home always. Vanessa, who is 18 years old, shares Sandra's enthusiasm. She believes the program made her courageous and outstanding, despite the challenges and demands of the program. Vanessa describes the results as nothing short of amazing. Ghana has made the girls more courageous and outstanding. A few of them were um, in, like they didn't commit, they didn't communicate with the com uh, outside world war. But right now, everyone is smiling. They are all happy and they are able to um, appreciate what they've done for them. And to me personally, Smart for Child Ghana has helped me a lot. I didn't stay with my parents, but through Smart for Child Ghana, right now, I'm with my parents happily, and they provide my car, my my transportation fare, sometimes my provisions that I find difficult to find and my tuition fees sometimes. These two remarkable students are not alone in their sentiments. Their colleagues share similar feelings of enthusiasm and excitement, a testament to the transformative power of mentorship and community service. Patience well, Lawe, um, one of the I facilitators at St. Monica's Senior High School, highlights the program's reformative impact on the girls despite the challenges they faced. She acknowledges that grooming, forming, and nurturing young individuals is no easy task, but the dedication of these students has been truly remarkable. Um, this program has been very educative, and, and in fact, it has been very good. It has helped nature form and train these young girls. But then I also have to admit that it has been very challenging. You know, grooming, forming girls, nurturing girls, it's not so easy sometimes getting them all together to perform a task, to do something, to do an, an assignment, it, it was not easy. But then through it all, they have made it. Just as our slogan says, um, smile, I made it. Patience expresses her wish for the program to continue and support more brilliant yet needy girls. The journey of Vanessa, Sandra, Lydia, Georgina, Emanuela and Regina is a shining example of how education, mentorship and community service can transform lives. Their three years of unwavering commitment rewarded them with certificates from Smile for Child Ghana and laptops from Black Star Excellence. Executive Director of Smile for Child Ghana, Dukas Nana, acknowledges the invaluable contribution of these girls. Um, most of us don't know how to help our communities or ourselves. Look at Ghana now. 
we have a lot of everywhere you go there's sanitation problem so if they when you enter the school you see that uh, they written litter free zone you don't litter so when you see when they they pick when they see that anybody has dropped something they will call draw the person's attention pick it we have plastics put placed advantage points in the school you know so as you walk and you get a, a sachet water you drink instead of dropping it you move to where there's a, a sachet bag and then you drop it in you know at the end of the day when the bags are full you put them all together and then get a truck put them in and send them to recycling companies you know so initially they didn't want to do because they thought they were doing rabbit they were doing they saw some, some of the friends were calling them sanitary inspectors you know and they were they were complaining auntie they, uh, they are genius uh, then we are picking. I say you are learning. It's a learning process. You know, so come to the school. Look, can you see any litter? Nothing. Boka says running an NGO is not an opportunity to make money. Changing the lives of people is the highest form of humanity. A report by Mohammed Nuruddin by Mohammed.